time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Thursday, October 19th. Little blood in the streets, my friends. Jay Powell opened his mouth and let out a little blood in the streets. S&P's down 37, NASDAQ down 132, Russell down 25, Dow down 220. Russell the weakest. VIX up 8%, closing in on 21 which is going to exceed the uh, the recent highs that we had back on October 4th. Let's see, VIX got to a high that day of 20.88, currently at 20.84. So I'm going to buy some longs here. Zero DTE wise, the only thing that I did was a DKS, hit my first profit target, and then got stopped out on the rest. So small profit. I actually was uh, trying to get filled on a RIC, <clears throat> discretionary RIC here after J Powell. Started speaking, we bounced, volatility started getting contracted. Uh, it was right around here. I was trying to get filled on a discretionary rick, and then it just ran away from me. It probably would have hit 30% within 10 or 15 minutes. And if not then, definitely now, but did not get filled, so did not post or take it. So for tranche one, yeah, it's look like the 90s and 75s, maybe 15 wide. Keep it a couple minutes. Yeah, I'll take a look at that VIX hedge too. I was looking at it earlier. It was up about 50 or 60%. I may peel some of that off by the end of the day. So the 90s, 75s. This is to four would be 75, not 70. I'm seeing 15 wide, but I'll give it another 30 seconds or so. It's getting a little in between. 
All right, 9075s. Here we come. Trying to get filled at 8.30. Filled at 8.30 on the 9075s. All right, 15 wide for TR1. Here we go. SPX is down 0.8%. We are down 0.95% from the open. 0.8% from yesterday's close, 0.95 from today's open. I mean, that was like some FOMC press conference action. Didn't really think we'd get that much action from j Powell's little luncheon. The man's got a gift, though. The man's got a gift. All right, so I did uh, I did just take off my November 3 uh, time fly with the calendar. It was getting close to the downside break even, so just scratched out a small profit on this one on that one. We've got the November 10 that we put on yesterday. It's not quite up 5%, but well, I don't know. My price is kind of jumping around. I'm not sure exactly where that thing's trading. I think we got in at 450. Yeah, I'm not sure where we'd get filled on that exactly. Where's your order on Nov 10 tomorrow? Like five, five-ish, 505-ish? Five oh five Five oh five, yeah. Uh, all right. So the VIX hedge, yeah, it's up. It's up about fifty percent, a little over fifty percent. I think I'm going to hold that to tomorrow. I think we're getting down to those recent lows here, the 42.30 area in SPX. I'm going to hold my VIX for now. Oil was down, but it's climbing and volatility expanding again in there. There's some, there is some fear in the marketplace right now, my friends. No calendars. I don't have any calendars on. Took off the rest of the TGIF this morning. SPX getting a little bounce. Getting back up towards the uh, expected move for the day. Yeah, that profit hump on that golden fly will start to build to the downside here. I'm going to, I'll probably hold that one until Monday. Let's see what's going on tomorrow.
Still a 15 point, yeah, still a 15 point expected move for the rest of the day. It makes sense. We got 15 wide. So after Powell, Goolsby spoke, then Barr, then uh, Harker, Harker and Logan speak tonight after the market closes. And tomorrow morning, 30 minutes before the bell, Harker is speaking. Due to speak about the economic outlook at the Risk Management Association in Philadelphia. There's also the federal budget balance between uh, Friday and Tuesday. Yep, 8.30 is what I got filled out. So five bucks is what I'm looking for for tranche one to reduce my stop. Low today, 4278.8. Currently trading at 4285. What do you call your proprietary indicator, Mara? The Thursday killer. Would you go 20, 25 wide or something? <clears throat> Are you going $3 on each side for tranche one mile? Oh, I thought you said I thought you said you you got filled at four ninety five on tranche one. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm with you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Has anyone heard of or more specifically done anything, understand um, DSPX, the dispersion index? It only started printing uh, at the end of November. Has anyone ever heard of that?
Yeah, you can type that DSPX in your in your uh, in your thing. I don't know anything about it. Measures the expected. Well, here's the CBO. So I had a call with CBOE today, and uh, a guy brought it up to me because I was talking to him about how we use VIX as a filter, but we'd love to have something better that for our zero DTE type trades. Uh, the dispersion index measures the expected dispersion in the S&P 500 over the next 30 calendar days as calculated from the prices of the S&P 500 index options and the prices of single stock options of selected S&P 500 constituents using a modified version of the VIX methodology. So I don't have any idea how we might use that yet. I haven't, I literally just had the call an hour ago. I haven't, this is the first I've even looked it up. But I'm going to dig more into it, talk to the Option Omega guys, see if there's anything to it to potentially add as a filter to our little backtesting strategies. I did. It was just kind of an introductory call, um, kind of telling them what we do and, uh, you know, just to have a, just start building a relationship, have a, have a, have a guy in case we ever run into issues, have kind of a contact there, um, you know, for stuff like, Hey, T uh, was it Tevis? Was it you who, whenever the, whenever SIBO had that, uh, data issue going on, was that you who had a, massive slippage and they and you called toss and they didn't do anything about it and they never and they didn't do anything about it right i mean you just ate ate the slippage right is that correct okay because he he said that because i was talking to him about that specific situation and he he claimed that he that they busted he, he said all the trades he said he, he said he thought they made everybody whole whatever that means i mean i so i, I don't know the specifics of your trade exactly but I I even mentioned I was like, well, there's actually somebody in our community who got smoked pretty good, and they uh, used toss, right? Did you called TD? Yeah, so I mentioned I mentioned that I, I thought it was toss. I said, you know, you called TD, and they basically said they weren't going to do anything. That it was a valid fill, and so he he was kind of surprised by that. But, um, you know, again, I didn't, I didn't know any details. I didn't really have any leg to stand on with that, but he, he definitely said that for the reason I bring that up is because, you know, this isn't a guy that I can, if somebody has, <clears throat> has a bad slip or bad, uh, fill or anything like this, isn't a guy I can call me like, Hey, fix this, you know, anything like that. I mean, you still have to go through your broker, but he did say, you know, kind of what, what you just mentioned, Ken you scream loud enough, you get, you get loud enough, then, um, the broker's got to push on, on, uh, CBOE to, to get stuff like that worked out. But he's also sending me some, um, uh, I already, I already told, uh, Elliot this, you know, he was, he was having problems at one point about a month or so ago with stops getting canceled. Uh, it sounds like they fixed that issue. They have a, a new procedure they call drill through protection, where I guess previously, you know, they, if you have a stop and it's, it's like at the same price level as a bunch of other stops and it, and price kind of blows through those, <clears throat> there's, there was a chance that, which I think was what Elliot was experiencing where, they would end up just canceling his stop and um, or you get huge slippage where like if the price was, he was saying if the price was at like $2 and 
and there was no real price until like eight dollars, it would just go to that next price and you get massive slippage or your stop would just get canceled altogether if it was too far away. But they've they've fixed that through a procedure they call the drill through protection, where they would they would create orders essentially at the next five and ten cent increments. So if it something like that happened again, it should go to like the next um the next order. So your you know your slippage shouldn't be as bad as something like that, or your your stop shouldn't be getting canceled. So things like that, you know, let me know if those kind of things happen. Yeah, the only th yeah, I mean he he basically said you got to you have you do have to work through your broker. You know, he can't look at specific accounts and figure anything out like that. So it does it does have to go through your broker for something like that, but Yeah, I I saw your question tomorrow after after the fact. So I didn't uh I wasn't able to to ask him about that. But I can, I can email him. I've got a, I've got a note about it. Tranche one trading down to six seventy. Yeah, he did say SPX is going to pin at 4282 today. So that's good. I'll keep him on the speed dial for the end of day price close. All right, tranche two. some longs in place. Looks like 90.75s again. All right, tranche two, ninety seventy fives. Trying to get filled at six ten. Filled at six ten on the ninety seventy five. So same same strikes for tranche one and two. Three sixty five is what I'm looking for for tranche two to reduce stop.
couple points above the low of day. And now we're hitting new lows of day. Need to bounce. We're like two points below below center. Let's save our bounce request for when we really need it. <laughs> Vix up over nine percent, approaching twenty one. Down to 585. I'm looking for five bucks on tranche one. We get back up around 82. That should suck some premium out. Yeah, my margin got increased today and I took some more money out of my account last night. So I, uh, I'm i actually going to have to do my tranche three in, in the other account. Back up to 42.80. There's one down to f under 550. Five forty five. Need about fifty cents, fifty more cents to come out to reduce stop.
525. Five fifteen. To hang out right here or a little bit higher to get down to five. Coming back down, back up to 540. We'll get these at 497. minutes until tranche three. Five ten, five oh five, five dollar. I saw it. Producing stop on tranche one. Buy some longs for tranche three. Looks like it might be the 90s, 70s. Like the ninety seventies. Trying to get filled at three fifty. Filled at three fifty on the ninety seventies.
Trunch two trading around five. I need three sixty five on trunch two to reduce stop. Anywhere between seventy five and ninety. We can just uh, stay above the lows of day and below the expected move line for the day. Just this little little area. I don't think that's much too much to ask. SPX making new lows of day. Drops two down to four sixty. Need another buck. Another buck to come out. She got stopped. How is that possible? I'm three bucks away. A three, two. So what did you lower your stop to three dollars? Three dollars above the current price. Huh. And that was a very tiny move, so that's I think the back test I had on three twos started at six and did reduce to three, but man, that was a tiny move to for that to hit. All right, uh, let's see, tranche two getting close. Looking for three sixty five. It's at three seventy.
kind of jumped around quite a bit when it bounced right there. Three seventy. It'd be getting close. Around 385 still. Seeing three seventy five. It's kind of popping back up now as price comes down. Didn't quite get there. Hangs out right here a little higher. There's 375. There's 365. All right, reducing stop on tranche two. So tranche two, my stop is at 565, and I got in at 610. Tranche one, I got in at 830, and my stop's at $8. And we're right back to where we're going to expire. Twenty five minutes to go. We could just speed up that maybe an early bell today. Can we get an early bell? Like, I don't know, right now. Let me call. Let me call Vince. See if you can <laughs> see if you can make that happen. Hey, Mike, I see you're posting on the Zoom chat. 
if you would please post in the uh, Zero Live chat channel in Discord. Most of the time I don't, I just happen to see that notification, but let me answer your question. But anything, any follow-up, please post in the uh, Zero Live chat. So Mike said, when you have time, I like your strangle design to supplement uh, zero DTE vertical spreads. Appropriate here, we're directional opinion into the close since these structures maximize into expiration with defined risk. Yeah, so I, these are defined risk, but once I once I buy the longs, um, they're basically going to expire worthless. So I'm just I'm just managing the shorts from that point on. And and I use a stop so. If it uh, starts to move out of my, out of my range. So this is all, Mike, it's all, <clears throat> I don't know if you have, if, if you're part of, uh, if you have an option Omega account yet, but everything we're doing here is, is back test driven. So looking at, you know, specific entry times, specific ways that we enter specific stops. So we, you know, playing the probabilities. It's been, uh, Pretty successful over the last year. Uh, Kelvin, my trunk two stop is at five sixty five now. No, I don't trail. I don't trail anything. I just when it's at forty percent, I move it down from three to two stays fixed. Same thing I've been doing them for the last few months, couple months. Mike, did I did I answer your question? I wasn't sure exactly what you're I'm not sure I was hundred percent clear on what you're asking. Yeah, when you reduce a stop, it's based on whatever the current whatever the current price is. So two dollars over the current price. VIX was up close to 10%. Now it's only up seven. Hit a high of 20.99. Did not like the idea of going, going over 21. Hopefully that stays that way for today. Mike, is that you, Alpha Options? Yeah, so you're in the day trading chat. Let's come down about one, two, three, four, five, six in the zero live chat channel. Sorry, I know it's kind of confusing. Day trading chat is what uh, Chad uses for his live stream. So we just, we kind of keep them different because totally different strategies. So we're, uh, anytime we're streaming live for zero DTE, we're here. Yep, no worries, man. No worries. Appreciate it. Just a lot, just makes it easier on me to, so I'm not jumping around in different channels. So 
So for these zero D Mike, so for these zero DT strategies, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not using a hedge. I'm simply position sizing, you know, based on my comfort level. They are defined risk, meaning, you know, we're buying the, we're buying some cheap wings, A for margin relief and, you know, capital efficiency. And then also obviously, you know, crazy black swan type move. The risk is defined with the, with the wings, but, <clears throat> but otherwise that's, that's kind of the, the scope of it. There's not, not necessarily a, a hedge here. Uh, obviously we're using a stop loss, which we know are not guaranteed, but that's our main, uh, main exit criteria. If, if, uh, price starts to move out of our range. SPX back down to 42.76. Out of the money butterflies. I mean, these things are so, there's just so little value in these options. That'd be pretty difficult to do, I would assume. buy some 10 cent butterflies, I guess. I don't think that's really going to do much. Yeah. SPX, new low of day. Tranche two just got stopped. At 545 and 555. So small profit for tranche two. 50, 50, 60 cents for tranche two. Stop for tranche one's at eight bucks. Currently trading at six. Now we could use a little bounce. Tranche three has the 70 as the lowest strike, so it's still in range. Stop on tranche three is at 650. Spread's currently trading at And just as I was talking about VIX, not not uh, puncturing 21, it did. Now a high of 2108. S&P down 47. The early indication for market on close imbalance is uh, well, the first one was 243 to the buy side, then it switched over to 195 million to the sell side. The final one will come out in uh, four minutes. Went from 243 million buy side, 243 million buy side, 195 million sell side.
Stop on tranche ones at eight bucks. Spread's currently trading at six fifty. Need a little bounce back above seventy five. We get back around 80, I'd be riding into the bell, but we'll see. I'll tell you in about seven or eight minutes. It's a nice little bounce. Vix just wanted to test that, uh, see what it, see what it felt like above 21. Just test the waters. Didn't like it much. Needed to ease back under 21. Ranch one down to two dollars and thirty cents. Tranche three trading under a buck. All right, nice and centered. Just kind of calm down and go to sleep now. Time to go to sleep. Five twenty to the buy side is the final. It's kind of back and forth. EX hit a low of 4269.69. Already back up to 4285.
Eight minutes to go. Tranche one's at a buck thirty-five. Tranche three's at eighty-five cents. Trader Bianca out at eighty percent. Nice. I'm just glad you're not yelling at us today. You must not have done your yoga for the day the other day when you were yelling at everybody. All right, right above 80. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of tranche one. <clears throat> so I've got these in two separate accounts. Let's try to get 50 cents. Tranche one currently at 80. 80 cents. Punch one at a buck. I was hoping my 50 cent was going to get filled at five till the bell. It's at 70 cents. 60, 65, 55. Should be getting hit. Touching it. It's flirting with my order. There we go. 50 cents for tranche one. Trunch threes at 20 cents. Got my order at 10 cents. Should I get rid of it? All right, got rid of it. Tranche three dead centered going in. If I lose money on this trade, I'm not going to be happy for 10 cents. 
<laughs> Still three minutes to go. Yeah, I should have left my order in at 10 cents. I'm going to put my order back in at 10 cents. Will it fill? Sometimes it does. No oh, 10 cents so far. Two minutes to go. So I got into trunch three at 350. Filled at 10 cents on tranche three and out. So tranche one, eight thirty seven eighty, so 7,800. Tranche two, got in at 610. Out at five, call it five fifty. Sixty times sixteen. So about nine sixty plus forty seven sixty plus seventy eight hundred. So a little over 13,000, 13,520 minus the uh, cost of my long. So call it about 13,000 in profit for the power hour. Nice. That helps. That helps. That helps. Good way to end the day. On a Thursday, my friends. On a Thursday. Don't forget about that. Everyone hates Thursdays. Thursday is my favorite day of the week. All right. All right, everyone. So tomorrow for the live streams, uh, Chad will be streaming live in the morning. And then we will be back for Power Hour Live. Same bat time, same bat channel. Everyone have a good night. Take care.